there. Welcome to Treasures and Truth with your host, Dr. Tope Kiku. Everyone wants to feel happy, but it's easy to lose hope and feel defeated in this year to be. Um, this podcast is about helping you find the treasures in your trials so you can be encouraged to have hope, renew your confidence, and know that you are not alone on this life's journey. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you three ways to experience God's goodness daily, even in tough times. So let me ask you this. Have you ever struggled to believe in God's goodness, especially during challenging times? You know, life has a way of throwing curveballs on our way, uh, even when we least expect it. Perhaps it's a rocky marriage, maybe a difficult relationship, conflict, or some other disappointments that's leaving you to feeling lost and drifting in a stormy sea. Well, a friend Shana shared about when she found out her husband's secret online affair, how it made her feel. She felt like her heart was shattered in a million pieces and her mind raced with all kinds of thoughts. And she had a lot of questions and she asked God, where are you in all of this, Lord? How could you even let this happen? And then she asked, did I just waste all these years, so many years of my life in this marriage? Perhaps like you, like Shana, you're also asking questions like this. Uh, Thinking about God's goodness is hard when we're bogged down by challenging situations and just difficult times. So like Shana, you too may question God's goodness when your life takes an unexpected turn. But let me tell you, goodness is the essence of God's nature. Psalm 100 verse 5 reminds us that God is good. His unfailing love continues forever and his faithfulness continues to each generation. So God's love and goodness is extended to everyone. Both the just and the unjust experience God's goodness. As described in Matthew verse 45, God's goodness doesn't depend on our circumstances. His goodness when life is going well, his goodness is there when we fall into hard times. In fact, we appreciate God's goodness more in difficult times. You know what? Because when we can't see our way through, God is right there with us, even in those hard times. He promises to walk alongside of us in the valley of the shadow of death, in trials and tribulations. He will renew our confidence, restore our relationships, and transform us as we trust him with all of our life's struggles. So I'm going to share with you three helpful ways to experience God's goodness, no matter what. The first way is to walk in faith. No matter what the situation you may be facing, remember God is good. He is good all the time. Believe that God is who he says he is. Uh, James 1 17 says it this way. God is a good father who gives good and perfect gifts to his children and he doesn't change like shifting shadows. Yes, your heartache, my heartache is real Yet it is not too big for God to handle. Uh, Abraham and Sarah experienced the disappointment of barrenness for 25 years before their son Isaac was born. Yeah, you had that right, 25 years of waiting. So if we wait on God, you and I will see the goodness of the Lord in our situations. So here is what Psalm 27 verse 13 is. And this is from the message version. So I, I hope it encourages you. I'm sure now that I will see God's goodness in the exuberant earth. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. I say it again. Stay with God. So let's lean on God daily in worship, prayer, and meditation on his word. Believe what God says about you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are his and you are engraved in the palm of his hands, he will see you through because nothing can snatch you out of his arms. Friend, the best is yet to come. The second way is to walk in love. So when we're in difficult situations, when life gets uh, really messy, it's easy to focus on just the problems. 
whatever we focus on, we magnify. So whatever you focus on, you magnify. Can I tell you a secret? You can address the issues without hyper-focusing on them. Uh, walking in love means that we address the problems, that as we address the problems, we intentionally keep our love on while we look through the lens of Christ, that we see the situation through the eyes of Christ uh, and we keep our love on. We treat others with compassion as we have received from the Lord. Psalm 145 verse 1 puts it this way. The Lord is good to everyone. He showers compassion on all his creation. Everyone means the unjust and the just. We can love the sinner, but not put up with their sins. Love is a choice that we must embrace to fully enjoy God's goodness. So I hope that encourages the third step is to walk in forgiveness. Walking in forgiveness is essential to fully experiencing God's goodness. Bitterness is a poison that can keep our souls locked up in anxiety and depression. But forgiveness is not for the other person, but for you and me. Uh, someone once said, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and wishing the other person to die. You know, that's not possible. That's just not possible, right? So again, Psalm 103 verse 8 encourages us to embrace God's attitude of forgiveness towards others. It says, the Lord is compassionate and merciful. He is slow to anger, filled with unfailing love. Friend, forgiveness is an act of obedience to God. You know, if you and I desire the goodness and mercy of God to follow us daily, we need to ask God to help us forgive. So although Shana, you remember Shana? She felt like her life was turned upside down and shattered. She had a million unanswered questions for God. But forgiveness was one thing she embraced to bring peace to her heart. She didn't do it for her husband. She forgave so she could be free to enjoy God's peace and goodness. God's goodness is all around us. It's in who he is. It's in nature, in his word, in answered and unanswered prayers in blessings and provision. With his help, you and I can enjoy his goodness every day. Walking in faith, walking in love, walking in forgiveness are three practical ways you and I can experience God's goodness daily. Even during tough storms and trials in life, we can enjoy God's goodness. So let me ask you this. How have you experienced God's goodness? Experiencing God's goodness in difficult times is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. Today, I want to encourage you to take a look at these three steps that we've talked about and examine whether you are in alignment with them. Pray and ask God to help you. So I hope this encourages you that God's goodness is for us in the good times, in the hard times, and his goodness is all around us every day. We just have to choose to tap into it. So again, thank you for joining me and thousands of other women on this podcast to discover the hidden treasures in your trials. Uh, you'll find show notes at hiddentreasuresandriches.com forward slash podcast. And you'll find a link to my journal, Thankful Every Day. Can I ask you to do me a favor? If you like this podcast, please subscribe, share it with friends and leave a review. Your reviews are a gift. Thanks again for being a part of this community. So remember, no matter what life throws at you, God has answers. Until next time, God bless.